<laughs> Welcome back to <laughs> Up North at 4, joined by Georgie and Laura. We're getting ready mm -hmm. for Phillips on Tap, oh, yes. which is about as Wisconsin of as an event as it, can, <laughs> as it can be. And Laura, this is year two. Yes. Year two for Phillips on Tap. So clearly last summer's event was... A hit. It was. <laughs> we had. Um, we were expecting about 750 people. We ended up between 1,000 and 1,100. So <laughs> we a were like, more. "Wow!" Um, <laughs> and so, and from the uh, response we've gotten, we're expecting an even bigger crowd this year. So we're really excited so, about so it. So people cool. like beer. Weird. Yeah. I never would have guessed. In Wisconsin, we figured this out. <laughs> You might be on to something Laura here. solved the puzzle. You That's are. right. <laughs> well, this is more than just you come by, have a few drinks, there's music, there's other events going on. Yeah. What's all happening on, on Saturday? Yeah, so um, you mentioned the music. We've got Pacific Coast Highway, which is a band coming. They come out of the Madison area. I thought you were going to say from the Pacific Coast. No, but, uh, no. They're like the Midwest version oh, okay, of, of the it, Pacific Coast it. there. So, uh, no, they're from the Madison area, and they play, like, rock from 70s to 90s. So mm -hmm. a little bit of something for everyone. And uh, then that, that concert will start at 5, go to 9. Um, starting at 4 p.m., our tap room tent is going to be open. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will be where we're pouring <laughs> the beer and the wine. And, and then we're going to also have several food trucks, um, nonprofit mm -hmm, yeah. groups doing food. So uh, seriously, mm -hmm. we have like half a dozen food vendors, a little something for everyone. If you like to eat, if you like to drink, okay. if you like music, if you like ice cream, mm -hmm. if you have kids and want to have them go play at the splash pad. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, really, there's... It kind of hits everything. Okay. So four out of five is not bad, though. Well, there you go. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun, and it's going to be a nice day, and it's going to be hot. You know, I hear, I hear she it's going to be hot. Yeah. He never pays attention. <laughs> no, I know. I always ask him like, what's going on today. <laughs> But it's not going to rain. So I said, I can handle hot if it's not raining. Mm -hmm. So that makes it all the better, doesn't it? Right. That well, makes people makes gravitate thirsty. toward the. Tap. Beer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> What's on tap this time? All right, so she has a few other breweries yes. that are going to be joining us, um, but we've been there both years. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and we're bringing four beers. We're bringing our jalapeno mango cream ale, um, which is a seasonal that we do every summer, and it's well-loved. And then um, our double dry hopped IPA, which is a brand new one that we brewed for IPA Fest in Milwaukee this year. Nice. And then we also are going to have a specialty beer, which is our first ever bourbon barrel aged Dagtoberfest, which Ooh. is like our in-house Oktoberfest, our fastest selling Highly anticipated yeah. beer. We decided to stick it in a barrel <laughs> and age it for Why four not? months. So it's we will have that it. there. And then and that we makes also, a difference, right? It does. Age yeah. the beer, yes, right? it does. One, you're going to get a little bit more ABV. Two, you get a little bit just more of those like barrel, yeah. um, the bourbon mm -hmm. notes mm -hmm. in there. Um, just really brings out all those flavors. And then we also have a brewed seltzer. Um, the brewed seltzers are something we just started doing. Um, so it makes it different than your regular like canned seltzers as we actually brew it. It's not just like the seltzer water yeah, and flavoring yeah. and alcohol. We actually brew it with corn, corn sugar. Which I hear yeast. are crazy popular. Yep. Yes, okay. yep. And this one's gonna be a banana macadamia rum. So. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like dessert. Sounds like cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So yes. how many how many other breweries are coming to this thing, mm -hmm. Laura? We have eight breweries Ooh. in total, plus we have the five senses of Phillips comes and has a wine table. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd be there. Hold too. on. So there's also wine yes. on top of the beer. Wait, yeah. what's on top the rule? Of the ice liquor cream? before beer, you're in the clear. Beer before liquor, liquor never sicker. Never been sicker. What about wine? Wine Ooh. is like in the same category as beer, in my opinion. They're okay. both like fermented agree. beverages. So it's not distilled. Right. She works yeah. for brewing. <laughs> <laughs> Next to a wine bar, too. Next actually. To a wine bar. <laughs> That's over here. So you are literally the first person to ask. So I say what she says goes. <laughs> so I got to ask, though, these flavors, the jalapeno beer, are you ever surprised? what catches on? Um, sometimes, yeah. I mean, it's fun to be able to, like, play around with it and everything, but um, it is it is kind of surprising. I know, like, um, our first, or our second, actually, brewed seltzer we did was a chocolate strawberry, mm -hmm. and for Valentine's Day, and I was, like, chocolate in a seltzer, yeah, like, no like, way, oh, and then it came out, yeah. and it was so good, and it went so fast. So, you just, that's, and that's one of the best things about, like, these beer events, mm -hmm. is you get to try so many different things from, from everyone, and sometimes they'll bring things that aren't even on tap, like our, we'll have our jalapeno mango there on Saturday, it's not on tap yet in our mm -hmm. brewery, in our brew room, so, 
um, you know, yeah, sometimes you get little yeah. sneak peeks at things. Yeah. And well, the nice thing is it's not, you get to try from so many different places. Mm -hmm. So if you say, oh, I'm not really a stout drinker, well, you know what, there's plenty of other, you know, you. Yeah. Right. Pilsners or something, you know, if you're into that, it's or, you know, there's some Oktoberfests that are coming, Seltzers, and people like right. those. So yeah. it's nice because there's a variety, and you're not saying, oh, well, it they, you don't have the, the one kind that I like. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot of choices. You'll find yes. the kind that yep. you like. Yes. And uh, the fact you do wine is great, too. Yes. Because that's something not a lot of yes. not a lot of the other beer events we go to have as well. well. Yes. That started because I was talking to my mom, who is not a beer drinker. <laughs> well, yeah. She was like, what am I going to drink? And I was like, hmm. So I then we got the wine. I want to talk some more about this year, but we're up against the clock, so we're going to take a quick break, you two. Stick with us. We'll be right back up north at Ford. The funny thing. Uh, welcome back to Up North at Four. We're getting ready for Phillips on Tap coming this Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, for one, am excited about this event. Yeah, but lots of times these events can get a little pricey. I got to ask you, is this event affordable? Yeah. Um, you can come and watch the concert for free. That's, you know, you can bring your own food and that sort of a thing. And um, the cost per beer is $5 for, for a glass of beer or a glass of wine. And okay. um, that is just, inexpensive. That is inexpensive yeah. for a glass mm -hmm. of beer. Yeah. Right. It's, well, especially because it's, you know, a nicer, you know, it's a brewery. It's a brewery beer. Mm -hmm. It's a craft beer. Or it's, you know, a good glass of wine. So, I mean, that's, mm -hmm. it's pretty, it's a good price. We also have um, tasting flights. So oh, when you best. go to a brewery, this was a request that we had last year of could we, I really want to taste a lot of these. So we set it up that you can buy for $10 a flight of four five ounce pours and you get the little tickets at the oh, chamber oh, tent nice. and you can take them to any of the breweries in the thing. So you I can mix it. and match. Oh, you can mix and match. Yeah, yeah. So you might say, oh, I want to try this one from here and that one from there. And so it's a nice chance to try a lot of different beers but not feel like, oh my gosh, I have to drink oh. four beers because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get home. Safe. So, so get, that's where we set could it up. could get really way. wild and be like, I'll have a little couple ounces of this one and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and make it worth your time. So you know what is really funny? I'm going to tell you this story now. This Jeez. morning, mm -hmm. I was telling the people in the newsroom, it feels like fall, nice breeze in the air. Mm -hmm. I said to them, I'm craving Oktoberfest beers right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not making that up to set you up. I'm being dead serious <laughs> when I say that. So when you said yeah. you're, you're bringing out the, uh, the Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. what, what was the name of it? The it's the Bourbon Barrel Aged Dagtoberfest. Dagtoberfest? Mm -hmm. My ears perked up. Yep. Bourbon we, Barrel Aged. Yes. Yeah. So we kind of released. It makes release, a difference. I've had, it's good. It is really good. We released this one as kind of like a little sneak, sneak peek, but the, our actual like Dagtoberfest will be out in like in the next two, two to three weeks. People we'll are already see. talking about this stuff. Can I like I circle? Know. I know. So Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> like the pumpkin spice lattes yeah. back and so the Oktoberfest beers. It's <laughs> never yeah. too early for fall, in yeah. my opinion. I agree so with you. As long as the weather holds out and we can keep know. doing our summer events, yeah. it's never yeah. too early for I cozy like things either. another couple weeks of summer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm yeah, like, he's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, not yet. Oh, no. We've got to enjoy uh, summer while we've got mm -hmm. it. All right. So, I mean, if we have you here. You want to try it? I mean, do you? I feel like we should start with the seltzer, though. I know you're really excited about about the Oktoberfest, but I don't want to kill your palate going no, no, no. the I wrong get it. way here. I get it. Okay. I get it. And then um, there was a little mishap with our <laughs> our fancy sample glasses that we keep here. They randomly They're disappeared. Missing. Somehow, well, magically. I feel like, hey, I'm getting no, no, no. the side. <laughs> we, we found out where two of them are. <laughs> so what are you looking at me for? All right. They, 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 somehow. They might be at Nate's house. Somehow they grew legs and <laughs> Don't look at me. walked away. Don't look at me so anymore. A so we're going back to college today. We don't have the red cup. We have the white styrofoam Yeah, does this not just bring you back to, like, college? You feel, you know, back in your youth, your younger I'm, days. I'm sure right? I, we've all drank out of worse, so it's fine. It's good. I, I, people drink out of shoes. I've seen that. Yeah. All right. So. It's a shoey. They do? Yeah, oh, it's called it's a, a shoey. No, I thing. went through college oh, right. and no one ever drank out of a shoey. Cheers to Phillips on Cheers. Tap. Cheers. Give this one a go. Cheers. Let's see. Mmm. I like this. Ooh. 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 Nice. The brood seltzers, I feel like you get a little more like body you and do. flavor to it. Like usually, yeah. usually they're kind mm -hmm. of acidic, right? This is not. Right. No, right. this, this yeah. flows do. This is mm -hmm. nice and sweet. And so. you get the banana flavor, but not excessively. It's like at right. the end. Yeah. Right. I like that. You taste the I like that. I, I like smell that a lot. the banana. We just are doing, I want to say this is only like our third or fourth 
brewed seltzer say, this is good. that we've done, nice. and every single one has definitely still surprised me. So, so. how big a batch these made in? Like, do you have? Um, we actually we make the three barrels because that's what we order. like max out at. Yeah. But we because it's like so simple, we actually usually end up usually three barrels give us about like twelve quarter barrel kegs. I love it. Um, we usually end up with like fourteen or more from. The, the Enough right. so. Good to know. Over. <laughs> so, so check it out. There's Here's plenty. Phillips on tap this weekend. We're going to take a break. We'll be back after this. <laughs> All right.